guys welcome back to my channel and to another review in today's video i'll be reviewing eve roche's newest foundation called lo radio hopefully i didn't butcher the name too badly anyway if you've never heard of this brand it is a french cosmetics company whose products i've been using for 14 to 15 years now and today i'll be reviewing their radiance revealing anti-pollution foundation so as always while i apply the foundation i'll give you guys a little bit more information about it and first things first this foundation comes in 30 shades out of which these six shades are exclusive to the eve roches website and the shade that i got is beige 200 this is what it looks like on the back of my hand kind of dark but it seemed to have blended out really well at the store when i was being color matched and as you can see it has a thick consistency to it unlike the last two foundations that i reviewed on my channel and in terms of a scent it has a very nice light fresh scent to it i'm already loving the foundation and i haven't even applied it so let me do that so for a light coverage they suggest dabbing just small amounts on the forehead cheeks nose and chin So this is what it's looking like after one layer of foundation. It feels more like medium coverage foundation in one layer rather than light coverage. Um, other than that, it feels really natural, doesn't feel tacky at all. Now for a full coverage effect, they suggest applying another layer. I don't feel like I need it because it seems to have covered my acne scar um, just fine. But just to check out what the full coverage feels like, I am going to apply a second layer. So this is what it's looking like after two layers of the foundation. It still feels really natural and lightweight. Um, it doesn't feel tacky at all. In fact, it doesn't even feel like I have foundation on up until I look in the mirror, obviously, and then I can tell, oh, I have foundation. Anyways, I'll finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Let's move on to the claims. So according to the website, 86% of the ingredients are from natural origin and this is the first anti-pollution foundation by Yves Rocher that boosts radiance. Now on the box, it clearly states what the foundation does and doesn't do. So it does instantly even out the complexion and boosts radiance. It has a natural finish with adjustable coverage. It has a fine and non-oily texture and gives a sensation of comfort for application. I'm assuming that these things mean that your face is supposed to feel natural like you don't have anything on. It is a 10 hour wear foundation and the Efloya leaf extract in the foundation is supposed to protect the skin from pollution and day after day complexion looks fresher, less dull and more radiant. Now what the foundation doesn't do? It doesn't clog pores, it doesn't emphasize dry areas, which is a good thing for my skin right now. It doesn't leave behind a plaster effect which I'm assuming just means like the foundation won't get cakey. This foundation is also alcohol-free, vegan, and has a reduced percentage of silicone in it. Silicone in foundation is just supposed to give it the smooth, silky, luxurious texture. If you're enjoying this review, please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and now let's move on to the coverage of the foundation. On the website, it says that the coverage is 3 on a scale of 4 and I personally feel like um, one layer of the foundation gives it a more medium coverage rather than light coverage. So I'd say this foundation is more medium to full coverage. For the wear test, they say that the foundation lasts for 10 hours, so I'll do two check-ins, one after two hours and then after 10 hours. So it has been two and a half hours since I applied this foundation and it still feels like I don't have any foundation, my face still feels natural, 
but when I look into the mirror I can notice that there is some caking around my mouth and under my nose even though I did set the foundation with setting powder this is my end of day 10 hour check-in um, so the foundation still feels really lightweight unfortunately the caking around my mouth and under my nose has gotten worse and I'm starting to notice that it's getting cakey under my eyes as well. So as always, let me start off with the price of the foundation, which is 35 Canadian dollars plus tax. But I got it for 50% off because this is a newly released foundation. So they had a sale on it. And now let's talk about the actual foundation. I love the packaging of this foundation. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a cover. And I'm assuming that's because the company wants to use less plastic because even the glass bottle is recyclable. And the cardboard box that it comes in is made from sustainably managed form. This foundation blended very easily into my skin and I feel like it evened out my complexion and boosted radiance uh, because even after 10 hours my skin doesn't feel oily, tacky or even dry. I just wouldn't suggest applying more than one layer of the foundation because I mean you do get medium coverage in just one layer and it does get cakey when you apply two layers to get the full coverage effect. So in terms of transfer, um, the foundation did transfer onto the mask even though I did set my foundation with a setting powder. So for all these reasons, I'm giving the Lo Radio 10 hour radiance revealing anti-pollution foundation 3.5 stars. And that brings us to the end of our video today. If you liked it, please take a moment to smash the like button. If you've tried this foundation, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more beauty related videos and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Till then, bye bye.